Let's solve some random problems here for CFAT numerical reasoning. How many soldiers are there in a group of 27 sailors and soldiers if there are four-fifths as many sailors as soldiers? So we are asked here for the number of soldiers. So we let x be the number of soldiers. And it is given here that um, the sum of the sailors and soldiers is just equal to 27. And also, it is stated here that if there are four fifths, there are four fifths as many sailors as soldiers. So we can write this mathematical sentence into a mathematical um, equation. So that would be x, the number of soldiers, plus the number of sailors, which is four-fifths as many as um, as the soldiers and this is equal to 27 so now we can solve for the value of x which is the number of soldiers so x plus 4 5 x we get the LCD here which is 5 so 5 divided by 1 uh, we consider the denominator of x here as 1 this is 1 over 1 that is 5 divided by 1 is 5, 5 times 1 is 5x, plus 5 divided by 5 is 1 times 4, 4x is 4x equals 27. And then we, we simplify the numerator, that would be 9x over 5 equals 27, and then we multiply 5 to both sides, then... This would give us 9x equals 27 times 5. And 27 times 5 is just equal to 135. So we have 9x equals 135. Then we divide both sides by 9 to solve for the value of x. Okay. Therefore, the value of x here is equal to 15. So there are 15 soldiers, and uh, the total number of sailors and soldiers is 27. Therefore, the number of sailors is uh, 12. So the answer here is 15. Okay, the number of soldiers. Okay, let's solve another problem. A boy buys a toy for $20, a book for $10, and a compact disc for $15. How much does he pay for all? So all I have to do here is just add up everything the boy buys. So that would be $20 plus $10 plus $15. That would give us a total of $45 dollars so our answer is this one okay okay let's solve another problem a numerator of a certain fraction is increased by 100 percent and the denominator is increased by 200 percent forming a fraction of 8 over 27 what is the original fraction? Okay, we don't know the original fraction, so we let x over y be the original fraction. So our x here is the numerator and y is the, de the denominator. So it says here that the numerator is increased by 100 percent so that means we add we add 100 percent to x 
so that okay the 100 percent the original um value of the numerator plus 100 percent of it then the denominator y it says here that it is increased by 200 percent so the 100 percent original denominator is increased um, by 200 percent so we add 200 percent and this is equal to and this would form a fraction that is 8 over 27 so let's simplify this we have x times 200 percent and y times 300 percent equals 8 over 27 and we can write percentage in decimal by dividing it um, by 100 so 200 divided by 100 percent and 300 divided by 100 percent then this would give us 2 and 3 equals 8 over 27 So our equation would be 2x over 3y equals 8 over 27. So we can divide both sides by 2 thirds okay, to get rid of the 2 thirds here. Then we have x over y equals 8 over 27 over two-thirds and then now we can solve for x over y which is 8 over 27 we flip the denominator or get the reciprocal of it and change the operator sign to multiplication times 3 over 2 and 27 is divisible by 3, this is 9, 8 is divisible by 2, so this is 4. Therefore, x over y, or the original fraction, is just 4 over 9. So this is our answer here. Okay, let's solve another problem. A team of clothing workers had an output of 1,000 uniforms per week. This output was increased by 20%, which demanded an increase of 50 uniforms per worker. How many workers are there on the team? So it is stated here that the original number of workers produce 1,000 uniforms per week, and then this output was increased by 20%. So 20, 1,000 plus 20% 20 of 1,000, and the increased um, the increased demanded an increase of 50 uniforms per worker. So it's not stated here that. Um, that new workers are hired so that means the number of workers in the team is just the same so we just have to divide the increase um the increase of the output by the uh, 50 uniforms per worker so that would be 20 percent of 1000 this is the number of uniforms that is increased then divided by the number of uniforms per worker so we can solve for the number of workers so 20% of 1000 um, 
we can change 20% into decimal. So this is just equal to 0.2. You just have to divide 20% by 100%. Then you multiply that by 1000 and that would give us 200 and divided by 50. And this is just equal to four workers. So the number of workers there are on the team is equal to four. So this is our answer here.